Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to forge weld cable. We're going to make a cable Damascus billet and I'm going to show you how to do it with a little effort. So the first thing we'll do is get this cable in some solvent. I'm going to separate each strand because of the grime and grit that's in there. I don't so much care about the oil, but the, the grease attracts sand and dirt and all that. And I'm going to get these separated where I can clean in them, but I'm going to soak it just a minute or two. We'll get it separated and get it cleaned up. And I just got it in some solvent. All right, we've been soaking about 10, 15 minutes just to loosen it up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and take these strands apart. Yeah, and we're going to put it back together once, once I get it all cleaned up, but this is how we start. This is one inch cable, by the way, which is what I like to work with. It gets too big, and the process I'm going to use does not work as effectively. All right, we get that all in there, and I'm just going to take a brush and just kind of brush it up a little bit. And I'll do this to all of them until we get them all good and clean. And we'll put it back together and go to the next step. All right, we got our pieces all cleaned up. And we're going to put them back together. And you see I've already got one here. And this is kind of tricky. But you can see they kind of lay in beside each other. And go back together like that. And I've cleaned these up as much as possible but I know there's gonna be still a little trash in there. The main thing is the heavy stuff. I'm not worried about a little grease and oil. We'll get this all together. Then we're gonna weld up the ends. much better than it was. I'm going to take it over the welder and I'm going to get these all welded up and I'm going to show you what the next step is going to be. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple nuts together here on this threaded rod and I'm going to tack it around, get it welded up and then we're gonna weld the nuts to the cable. And I'm gonna be using these nuts to slip a socket over. And I'll show you what we're gonna do and how we're gonna use that to weld this cable. All right, so now I've got everything prepared. So the nuts are on here for a specific reason. And you saw me slip the socket on there. And what I'm gonna do is heat it up in the forge, then I'll clamp it in my press. Now you can do this in your vise or whatever you wanna use. You wanna clamp the end, and then I'm gonna take the socket, put it on there and take an impact wrench, and we're gonna forge weld it and I'm gonna show you that. First, I'm gonna get this in some oil. I'm gonna just stick it in my quench oil, some Parks 50. You can use kerosene or whatever you want. Let it soak in there a few minutes, and I am gonna use a little flux. I don't like to use flux much more anymore, but I am gonna use it on cable. 
I'm not a big fan of cable blades, but for the purpose of this video and to show you how I make a cable billet, that's how we're gonna do it. So let's get it over in the awl. All right, so the neat thing about using the impact that you're gonna see is it'll forge weld all the cables evenly and fast, but at the same time, it'll be knocking off slag. I won't have to brush it. It's a really cool process. So as soon as this heats up, I'm gonna get over to the press. Like I said, you could put it in a vise, clamp it down, and do the same process. It's just easier for me, because I'm by myself, except for the cameraman, to put it in the press, lock it down, put the impact on it. Let's go. All right, with everything consolidated, I think I got a pretty good forge weld. 
I had to put a handle on it because I twisted those nuts off. But now I'm going to go ahead and draw it out. Now you can do this on an anvil, but a hammer just takes longer. But I'm going to do it in a press because I have one. All right, I got the billet finished up to a rough finish, around 220 grit, and I want to do a test etch, and I'm using ferric chloride and water. It's a four to one mixture, and I've got to etch both ends because it's a little long, but I'll leave it in there four or five minutes, and we'll get the other end. We'll take a look at the pattern. All right, we got our etch done. I could have took it down a little bit more, a little thinner in other words, but it come out pretty good and um, it's ready to make a knife. It'll make a good knife. You're going to always have weld inclusions and this uh, fooling with cable is notorious. It's why I don't like working with it. But when I do, that's how I do it. Forge for welds really easily, as you can see, and uh, the job gets done pretty nicely. But I'll show a shot of it here where you can see the etch a little better. But I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank my patrons, and we're going to see you on the next one. <laughs>